here with Mike with another writing tip. Hey folks, today we're talking about dialogue and how to make your dialogue real. If you're writing fiction, you're going to have characters speak. And characters must speak for a number of reasons. To advance the plot, to reveal inner character, and to entertain. For, when, for example, when a character tells a joke. Most jokes aren't funny, especially when they're written out. Uh, but people do tell jokes, and it's a way of characterizing your person. If your person is a joke teller, then he'll tell a joke. But it's important to hear the way real people talk. Uh, keep your ears open. And when you hear a common sentiment rendered in a fresh way, you write it down and you use it. And I'll give you an example. Uh, uh, people are always saying, I'm going to town to get a case of beer, but that's not how it comes out. It often comes out as, I'm gonna go into town and get a case of beer. So I started writing it that way, A-H-M-I-N-A. -A. And reader feedback, uh, was very positive saying, oh, holy cow, you know, I mean, that's that's the way people really talk. I never thought of it that way. Uh, colloquialisms, which are phrases unique to certain areas of the, of the country, but not universal in English. One example is oofta. And uh, anybody who reads Badger is familiar with the expression oofta, which is a Norwegian American expression that means holy cow or wow. Uh, it's uh, useful for a variety of situations. Um, Many of these colloquialisms are uh, specific to certain parts of the country. For instance, the Deep South has many of them. Uh, and when uh, a Southern woman says, why bless your heart, it means the exact opposite of what she's saying, but she's too polite to put it into words that a less crap, that a more crass person might use. Some other Southern colloquialisms are living in high cotton, which means living high on the hog, which is another colloquialism, madder than a wet hen, or he could eat corn through a picket fence, drunker and Cooter Brown. Now, nobody knows who Cooter Brown is, but we all know what that phrase means. It means really drunk. Finer than a frog here, split four ways. <clears throat> New Jersey has a unique number of colloquialisms uh, it's settled primarily by Italian-Americans, and anybody who's watched the films of Mar Martin Scorsese will be familiar with a number of them, but one of them is catawampus, which means gone to hell. The whole thing was catawampus. Ask before tea kettle. Uh, other Jersey colloquialisms include all good, down the shore, which means going to the beach, how you doing? which is universal, and Jersey slide, which means slamming on the brakes while you're going fast in your car and losing control of the traction so it starts sliding sideways. And I, uh, I have often mentioned the importance of carrying a pen and pad with you at all times so that when you hear a fresh phrase, you write it down so you can use it later. It's important to write the way real people talk and it's just as important to avoid cliches unless it's your goal to illustrate that the person speaking has no imagination and falls into familiar tropes. And in comic books, the most classic are, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore, move it people. And uh, we have to talk. Uh, never write, we have to talk. Find another way to say it. That's it. All right, very good. Another great, uh, other great tips. Anything newsworthy upcoming? We're going to launch uh, Private American in three weeks. Uh, Private American is everything Captain America should be but isn't. I've been posting art on Facebook and Twitter. The art is phenomenal. Who is the artist? Richard Bonk. We have a guest cover by Steve Rude. In fact, Hang on there, one second, little lady. Hang on there, just one second. Oh, you gotta come over? Okay. <laughs> this is Steve Rude did this. This is the original cover, right? Yep. Well, we'll be getting it framed. All right, you can go back in the picture. You can just sit there and hold the artwork. <laughs> All right.
very good. So stay tuned on Wednesdays. Thanks for watching. Remember to ring that bell, subscribe, notification, all that stuff, comment. You know what to do. Thanks so much for watching.